let's just take a look at this board. So there's there are three elements to success in the game of War Chest. The first one is knowing your units. That is the most crucial battle. And now there's a slash to that first step. It's also knowing how to draft. But knowing how to draft means you need to know your units. So getting to know all your units, their strengths and their weaknesses, is the most important part of the game. Many games, if you know how to play a solid game, are decided in the draft. Likewise, sometimes if you're playing a less experienced player in the draft, you can almost determine you already know you've won the game because they've given you certain units that they shouldn't have. So we need to think about this. So first thing we're doing in the draft is we are identifying our power pieces. So I like to think of them as, you know, your tier ones, which are going to be your first draft, your tier twos, which will be your mid drafts, and then your tier threes, which are going to be your support units. Sometimes they're your finishers, your closers, or they're just, for lack of a better word, the weaker unit. So first we're going to identify our power units. The Berserker is probably one of the most powerful units, especially on this board, for sure. Light Cavalry, right up there. These are your two most powerful units. Now... Let's think about this for a moment. We have Berserker, we have Light Cavalry, so then we identify our other strong units. Royal Guard is a close second, super uh, durable unit that can take multiple hits without being removed from the board. Cavalry, very strong, good, it can attack at a range. Crossbow, that's your workhorse unit, can also attack at a range, but only in a straight line. Your pikeman, strong because it has a, a built-in defense for any non-ranged unit that attacks it, loses a, a coin on the board. So this pikeman is a very strong defense to the berserker. One of the strongest defenses in the base game. There's two expansions to this game, and we will get to those pieces later. But right now we're just going to start off with the base game and... The base rules. The knight, good unit because it requires you to be bolstered. Your units on the board need to be stacked. So you have coins. Each of these represents a coin, either four or five coins. And on the board, after you've recruited them from your supply, you can bolster them, which it means you're stacking them. The only way to attack a knight is to be bolstered. The scout, also very strong. It uh, can be deployed, so normally that you have two starting locations on your board, and then as you control locations, you can deploy from those locations. The scout can be deployed adjacent to any of your units. So part of this game, part of the success of this game, is your ability to move quickly, speed. This is why the light cavalry is such a strong unit, is it can jump or move two uh, hexes instead of just one, your standard. Cavalry can move two, but only when attacking. And it's not really moving two, it can move, it can attack from a, that's further than one away. So it only has an attack bonus, it doesn't have a movement bonus. And it just goes to show you that the light cavalry can't attack from a distance, but it can move further. And this one is valued a little bit higher because it has movement. It doesn't have like a, an attack advantage. It has a movement advantage. Similarly with the Berserker. Berserker is a very strong unit because, as we we're saying, it you bolster your coins on the board. The Berserker, once you get it bolstered, you move it, and then as a its tactic is you can remove a coin from its bolstered stack and move it again. So this guy takes a little bit longer to charge up essentially, but once you uh, have a fully stacked Berserker, it's very imposing, very hard to stop. So that is uh, why the Berserker is one of the top choices. So now let's talk about, well, I haven't talked about, and the Footman is by far the least appreciated and least uh, liked unit and 
probably the weakest unit of the base game. That said, it doesn't mean that it doesn't have its strengths. Now, on paper, it sounds kind of strong. You can place two footmen on the board at once. It's the only unit that can have multiple coins in two different spots. It sounds good. However, it's slow to get going, and it is uh, hard to execute its tactic. But footmen can come in really strong in the end game, and the fact that you can deploy it in multiple places, it can actually serve as like a really good defensive tactic. Say you have a, a location that's controlled, that's uh, vulnerable to uh, being taken by your opponent, you can pop an extra footman in there just to stop them from taking it. And that can come in handy uh, against a Berserker and against the Light Cavalry, because Light Cavalry has a real sneaky tactic of uh, just kind of slipping past your defenses, say it's bolstered two or three times, so it can take a hit and then just jump into one of your back, back ranks that are controlled that you, you know, thought it was so far away and pretty safe, suddenly you're getting um, wrecked from the inside. So now we're talking about the elimination. So we have two ways to look at this. The, the, the first way you could look at a elimination would be uh, you eliminate the most strong unit. So if not know what T was to uh, remove the Berserker, I would be compelled to remove the Light Cavalry. Now that would leave the, uh, the opponent with essentially the next best units that are only available. So probably would take the Royal Guard in this situation, could take the Cavalry, or the Crossbow, or the Pikemen. Scout's a great unit, but it's never, very rarely, especially without uh, expansion uh, elements, is it going to be your first choice? It's a really strong second choice. So if you're drafting second, you get to pick two. It's always nice to drop in that, get that scout. Because, primarily because of its ability just to be deployed. That speeds up the game that much faster. As I'm saying, how speed is such an important element in this game. Uh, not the, how fast you play, but how fast your units can cover the board. And that saves you... One move, two moves, it depends on where it gets deployed. It gets you going that much quicker. So that's one option. Say the Berserker, remove the Berserker. Now, if I weren't to remove the Light Cavalry, I would consider that to be a rookie mistake then because the opponent would get Light Cavalry. I could get away with it. You could get Royal Guard and Cavalry, uh, Royal Guard Cavalry, Royal Guard Pikemen. Any of these kind of would work, but... I wouldn't like it as much. But then, so you gotta think. If I were to get rid of the Light Cavalry, assuming that the Berserker's removed, they get a pretty strong unit, but I would have two um, decent ones to cover. Now, it's not always gonna be this case. There's gonna be more units. Sometimes if you remove the, 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 the top two units, there's only one remaining unit that's really by far the best. And sometimes you can force your opponent into doing that. So another uh, tactic uh, for elimination is removing your weakest unit. Because since you're drafting first, you're going to end up with the very last unit, the, like the, the one that, you know, when you're getting picked for the basketball team, the last person to get picked to sort of ends up on the team. That's going to be the footman in this case, for sure. This tactic isn't uh, as... It's a little riskier, for one. Oh, and it, but it can work. It just, you need to think it through. So say I were to get rid of the footman. Now it doesn't, all right, so there's other, there's more to this uh, tactic as well. It doesn't necessarily need to be your worst unit. You can get rid of your second best unit, essentially, not like, not your top ones. You get rid of the one that you don't want your opponent to have next. So say I just uh, got rid of Royal Guard, for example. Now, the, uh, the opponent will be forced to choose, do I remove the Berserker and then give them Light Cavalry? 
or I give them Berserker so I can take Light Cavalry and Cavalry or Cross or Pikeman. That would probably be the combo right there with the Berserker. You know what one unit I didn't touch on was the Ensign, maybe because we're going to get to that, because it has a really good pairing with the Berserker. So this is a strong pair. Not so strong as I would take it. I don't know if I would take it in my second round with what's out here. I might end up having to give that away, because if I took this and a Light Cavalry, they're going to get some of the other stronger units here. It's going to eliminate the Berserker's best defense. Very interesting. So now, this makes me think twice. Because now I'm thinking, well, I was going to maybe just get rid of, like, Royal Guard or Cavalry. But now, this was my best defense against the Berserker. Light Cavalry is still good. But is it so good that I want to give my opponent the Berserker? So that's the question you need to, you need to ask yourself. Now i got to think, if I were to get rid of the Berserker... What would, uh, I'm going to assume that this, the opponent's going to take Light Cavalry. So the opponent would take Light Cavalry. What's my response to that? Probably Royal Guard and Cavalry. Maybe Royal Guard, Scout. Mm, I need some more heft before I could bring the Scout out, I think. Or if I leave the Berserker, they're going to take it. I'm going to take my Light Cavalry Royal Guard, probably. Do I feel good about that? I'm going to say I feel good about that. So I'm going to allow the Berserker them to take the Berserker. And so I'm going to get rid of one of their next best options. So that would be if I know I'm going to take these two, and I'm going to assume that they're going to take Berserker, which of these three guys do I not want them to take? It's either going to be Scout, because that's just kind of a convenient piece to have, or it's going to be Cavalry, because it's just, this is a killer. And if you notice these little uh, numbers by underneath the units, that tells you how many uh, coins each uh, unit has total. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the really Cavalry. Okay, as suspected, my opponent has taken Berserker. So I'm going to follow up with Light Cavalry Royal Guard. Yep. And now... What else? Are they going to take the crossbow or the scout? That's the question. They could take knight. However, I feel like crossbow or scout. Scout is a good thing, but then the question is, do you want the other person to have the crossbow? They took the crossbow. Okay, so that means I will take the scout and the knight, and 